Hello there. And welcome back to the Epic Rider YouTube channel. My name is Will. With me today is Jack. Oola, my friend. So Jack, uh, a little humble brag coming up. As you know, I have two degrees in history. So a historical horror is uh, something I'm probably going to absolutely love, I reckon. And this is a historical horror set in the 1600s, I believe, in uh, yeah. the English colonists of America. Uh, an era of history I quite find fascinating. So uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see if they combine horror and history, if I'll be a big fan. To be honest, out of the films we've done so far, I'm not spoiling it or anything, but I think you're going to love it the most for what you just mentioned there. Really? I think you will enjoy it. Oh, yeah. Cool. yeah, films set in that kind of time period are films that I quite like, because um, I just love the way it's like English in America. I know a few little uh, tidbits about this as well, so I can interject them at the right times. Throw in some Jack facts. So it's Robert Eggers. I've seen The Lighthouse. Yeah. I haven't seen this though. Out of the two, which one do you prefer? I think this is better. Oh, okay. Because yeah. the lighthouse is really good. Yeah, it is. So this is really good as well. Okay. I think we should just go straight into it. Say no more. Say no more, sir. Right, the witch. This does look terrifying. I think it's probably one of the best um, for building atmosphere that I've probably seen ever. What went we out into this wilderness to find? Leaving our country. Kindred. I like the uh, the speaking in thou art a papist. For what? We must ask thee to be silent. Was it not for the pure and faithful dispensation of the gospels? Look at the drip. Look at the doilies around his neck. If my conscience sees it fit. Then shall you be banished from this plantation's liberties. That's me when I fire you from the channel, Jack. You shall be banished <laughs> from this. How sadly hath the Lord testified against you. I love Ralph Innocent's voice. It's got a bit of a northern gruff. I love the, uh, yeah, just the world of this. It's so cool, like, just to see how it looked. I don't know what it's shot in. This is shot in a weird ratio as well. This isn't, like, traditional, like, film. This is something else. Oh, yeah, it's, like, full screen, yeah. Someone in the comments can tell us what ratio this is in, but this, I, I don't think this is in a normal ratio. Is this going to be lots of building violins? The classic soundtrack of modern horror. That's us when we upload a new video. <laughs> That's me, the wife, look yeah. next to you. <laughs> <That's what you're... laughs> like, yes. I'm not a religious person at all, but I can't imagine like your life being dictated by religion like to this extent so extreme but it would have been normal life for them oh, but just that shot with the woods like that even when i see tight uh, tall trees like that if that song was playing in the background i'd never walk into that i think it's very pale isn't it yeah it's very cold i feel cold watching this Boo! <laughs> where is sam where is sam where is that little man <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Boo! What? Uh oh! <laughs> the baby's just like Samuel! rustling. That's creepy. That is, isn't it? That that when I first saw that, that really I was like, oh my god! Could you actually imagine being in that situation? It's so soon into the film, isn't uh. it? Is that the witch, the Vavitch? It's so it's so quick into the film. So it hasn't even been ten minutes. I'm it's late. only an hour and a half. The film, yeah. Wait, is that the... Just mashing up. Stew. Oh, it's just the sound with the effects. It just it complements it so well, but in the most horrendous way. A horrible way to go. It's horrendous, isn't it? Mm. Got a lot of censoring to do here. I'm very unsettled. I hope I feel my heart going a bit, getting a bit anxious. It is cool how they use witches as well, because that was the whole New England thing, wasn't it? If thou art a witch. Girl of. God give you good morrow. All are still at bed. Save mother. It is no ease to rise on a grey day. The devil holds fast your eyelids. His voice in my ear is just like. Oh, I'll work him. It's ASMR, isn't it? Mm. 
This is the witch curse of the land. We must catch our food if we cannot grow it. We will conquer this wilderness. It will not consume us. It just goes through the importance of sound. Like that's just a shot of some forests. And can't thou tell me what thy corrupt nature is? My corrupt nature is empty of grace. Bent unto sin, only unto sin, and that continually. Imagine if this is the same um, forest from the Blair Witch. <gasps> Look at that drip, though. He's just, he's just like someone from Bloodborne. Oh, careful your fingers. Oh, watch those little fingies. Oh. Was Samuel born a sinner? Aye. I might then... We pray he hath entered God's kingdom. And if I died, if I died this day... What is this? I ought evil in my heart. Me sin what is this? Thou art youngly yet. And if God will not hear my prayer... Caleb! Tell me! I think the whole Puritan thing was you were born... And you're already allocated to heaven or hell. So you've yeah. got to live your life good. Because if you are allocated and you live it bad, you'll go to hell. But... It's like a raffle. Kind of. <laughs> Bowler! Oh no, not Bowler, the dog. What is. What is. Uh oh. What do you mean, oh, it's a rabbit? <laughs> it's not the rabbit from Monty Python. <laughs> Look at the rabbit. <laughs> Oh, backfire. Father. Sneaky hair. Mm. Is the hair a, a witch's? They're familiar. Black Philip. Yeah, what they said was Satan. Something about a lion's den. They're like Black Philip, Black Philip, we are your servant. Oh, that's like, that's like Satan. Your den. Like, Satan is like a black goat, isn't he? Such, I just love cuts like that. Caleb? Caleb! Stop it. Look no arm in it. Life must have been so hard back then. Yeah. Compared to today, you got it so easy. I be not mercy. I be the witch of the wood. And I have come to steal you. Hear me stick a fly in through the trees. <laughs> Clickety clacking. Me. Black Philip says I can do what I like. Double take your back, Philip. Sure thought I can't leave the yard. I could go to the brook before you let the witch take Sam. Twas I what stole him. I be the witch of the wood. Liar. He Liar. bade me bring him an unbaptized babe. So I stole Sam and I gave him to my master. If ever thou tellest thy mother of this, I'll witch thee and thy mother and draw it too. Stop thy tears and swear thy silence. I swear. You'll not tell mother nor father. Thomason, let her alone. Really good actor. Mm. I have no idea what the hell is going to happen in the story. I don't know what's going to, how it's going to end or anything. If the film ends with the main character just staring and then they start to smile, I'm going to be annoyed because that's how they all end. We must find some light in our darkness. Tomorrow we will have a fast day. That's sharp. Sure. Oh, they're going to do that P90X fast. God, I couldn't think of anything worse. The witch. Just going out there like that. There's three candles in there. Jesus, mm. they're all balling. Oh, it's the hair. Good Look at him, he's all... How do they get that bed? Do they make it? Yeah, maybe. Or Ikea. Hmm. Holy speaker. I fear thou dost look too much upon this affliction. We must turn our thoughts towards God. It's like everything they do is a sin, isn't it? He hath never taken a child from us. Ne'er one Caden. Who might earn such grace? I like how he says, like, your child was taken, but he's like, well, it was only the first one, so God must love us. is in hell. You can just sense the desperation, but like, it's just, you just yeah. feel so depressed. Boy. Look at the eyes. Stand there with Bert. Caleb, no. Oh, straight back. Thomas, Caleb! They tied to the. Thomas, Caleb! Hands. <laughs> That's like those little, you know, the things parents got the little leashes mm. for their kids. I think this is the Blair Witch Forest. See, so he's lost. Thomas, 
got the gap though. Look at that. He's got the strap. Yeah, he's, he's fine. He's like, you fam, get back. Oh. God. Oh no, that's the dog noise. That's the dog noise. Oh, oh no. Here's the rabbit from Monty Python. That noise. Oh, I see little feet. Oh, it's the witch's hovel. I'm going on an adventure. <laughs> Where's this gun? I think he got stuck in the woods. The little uh, trees. Oh, that's so creepy. A bit of ankle. that like choir. Oh. They're just like right behind him. You can see him as well. They're like, oh! It's just so creepy, that noise. What the hell? Imagine being that actress having to do that. They use like a 12 year old boy as well. I hope this kid got paid a lot for this film. You know, a skateboard and some comic books or something. Yeah. That's <laughs> like their whole thing, wasn't it? Relieve swelling of the brain. They just start like, get that knuckle dust on and just start smashing their skull in. What did the witch do to him then? She didn't eat him. What else, Caleb? What else? Did Thomas make him sick in the wood? What say you? Black Philip Sif, you are wicked. I told me too. Damn your black Philip. He said you put the devil in Caleb. That's why he's sick. Mother and father will find out. What? That you are a witch. So the son. Oh no. Is it blood? Oh. Even the goat's like, what? Oh, that's giving me the shivers. This does not look like witchcraft. What witch? Who does this then? Who? What are you doing? Just climbs in. We're back to the plantation. <laughs> what dost thou want, Catherine? Tell me and I will give it thee. I want to be home. Thou shalt be home by candle time tomorrow. In England. Back to just think of like, the I risk it must have been just to move yeah. across the Atlantic a month and a half, sure two months me. journey by sea. Yeah. Enough! Oh no. You can't actually sweat in. It's like me when I had COVID. Sin. Take your children outside. What does this to me? What does this? Oh. Will you? Will you? Hold it. Oh. That was an apple. Yeah. He's witched. Did she? No. What horrible fancy is this? How is she still sound? Silence. Did you get to the devil in the woods? They lie. I'll say you. Don't let him Cursed on me. They fire against me. God, this is so that's just the hysteria. This is the hysteria of it all. But I tell thee, I have raised up no witch in this house. Pray for thy brother. You must believe him. Evil wretches. <laughs> Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Pray. Pray you be. Get on my knees and pray. Stop that shine. This is suddenly got just like nuts out of nowhere. Oh, 
Oh yeah, yeah. no, I should go through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. I've got chills. Oh, I felt like a cold I'm chill just gone real. Around. Yeah, the acting. Mm. Castle, my lord, my love, kiss me with the kisses of thy mouth. How lovely art thou! Thy embrace, take me to thy lap. <laughs> What is going on? He just died. Acting, Jesus yeah, no. Christ! He just—he's dead. Oh, how good that scene was. That's the best scene in the film. Yeah. <laughs> but he saw—he saw the Lord at the end. Or was he tricked? And it's Beelzebub. You wouldn't know how to react to that, really, would yeah. you? That's just funny how like they're just so paranoid everything that they'll believe their own daughter's a witch just because they say a few things happened. You must tell me, Thomasin. Bloody witch. Tomorrow I cannot keep secret of this. A council will be called, and thy life is... Thy life. Will you not believe me? Yeah, see the hysteria. I saw the serpent in my son. You stopped their prayers. They lie. I saw it. Caleb disappeared with thee. I made no bargain. Thy soul belongeth to Christ. I made no bargain. The devil hath no interest in thee. I am no witch, Father. What did I but see in my house? Will you not hear me? Imagine saying, like, this, right, you'll be put on trial. Don't worry. You'll be dunked under the water. Everyone's there, yeah. And if you if you obviously die, true? then, yes. you know, yeah. You let mother be as thy master. You cannot bring the crops to yield. You cannot hunt. Is that truth enough? Enough. Thou canst do nothing, save Cartwood! Face! And you will not hear me! <laughs> Must I hear the devil wag his tongue in thy mouth? <laughs> oh, I like that. Must I hear the devil wag his tongue in thy mouth, wench? He is Lucifer. You know it. The twins know it slander too. Slander thy brethren no more. It is they! Oh, slander thy brethren. From my side. Was they in that goat what bewitched the soul farm? Nice. Uh, did they sign the book with the goat, maybe? Mr. Wolf stole some. <laughs> what is this? Speak. Jonas and Mercy. They made covenant with the devil in the shape of Black Philip. Dost hear that? Ye black minions. <laughs> Dost hear that, yoke devils? Look at this hysteria again. They just Wait. believe it. Wait from this! Did ye make some unholy bond with that goat? Speak <laughs> if this be pretend! Uh, people believe that. Yeah. It's just a black goat. <laughs> These lies from our babes' mouths are but trifles to them. I do not lie. Silence, creature! My son is dead! Damned! Look, and I will no. dash his skull! No. Do you see? Stop. Of the tension. Do you see now? <laughs> Not with them. Keep me from this goat. It's the axe. He's got the axe out now. Oh, Billy, be the devil. <laughs> Look at him just chilling there, like. This is really good. Like it's just Amazing, the way they just it? turns them nuts, and go like crazy. It, There's nothing oh, like just... it. That shot. Just alone on your own in this entire country. This is my fault. Kind of is his fault. He left the, the town, didn't he? Yet redeem my children. They cannot tame their natural evil. <laughs> Little bloody sinners. I'm going to say that when I've got kids and they're just like misbehaving. I cannot tame their natural evils. And I'll lick the dust of thine earth. Oh. my children. I beg thee, my Christ. I have not damned my family. Jesus. 
She's in the dream world, surely. This is no dream. She's being Mother. tempted. They look terrified. They're very good actors, oh. those little kids. Oh. We will see you after, Mother. Would that please you? Hi. What is going on? Is the witch invading? Wait, what? Is that someone coming out of a goat? Oh, oh it's the witch. Oh. It's terrifying. See that? He's gonna wake up and be like, "What?" Oh, she's not. Oh, not the Weans. I do have to say, he built that house very well. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, is that? That is disgusting. I just love it when it's just like, oh. Oh. That's scary. <laughs> well, he's dead. It went in and like up with yeah. the spikes. Oh. I'll bring yourself to my pretty axe. <laughs> Look at the blood pour out of his mouth. Oh, he's had enough. Oh. 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 See, he's killed by his own labour of love. Blood on her hands, but yeah. it makes it so obvious. Where are they? No, not what I saw. Where are they? I did nothing. She came from the sky. She... Devil! Proud sword! Did you not think I saw? I swore to you not to him. Bewitch in his eyes, any harm. Jesus. Yeah. Imagine that, yeah, just believe in it. That's your own daughter. Oh, but you hear what the bewitching of his eyes in the father's eyes, whore. Oh. Like trying to tempt the father. You killed my no! children! No! You killed that father! You witch! I love you! I love you! She just doesn't care, does she? <laughs> she seems like just completely like in the wrong situation at the wrong time. Just like, please, what's happening? It's just the, you know, the hysteria intense devotional belief and everything aspect of it it's just but then again there is a real witch in the film that's what people do question him and have asked eggers is just actually you take it from the theory that there's no witch in this film right but i think it is quite set in its way that it's a horror look at him in the corner just covered in logs <laughs> just chilling Stabbed, look. so creepy I thought that was the end. I was like, oh, okay, no. I can't think. I can't think how it's going to end. Like, there's... That's why I like these films. They're so... Oh, yeah. They're not linear at all. Speakers had to speak to join us in mercy. Oh, is that why the kids are always going ba ba to the goat? Ah. What does thou want? You will. This does like me a bit, actually. A pretty dress. Wouldst thou like to live deliciously? Yes. Dost thou see a book before thee? I wonder what book it is. It's like a book of witchcraft. The book of the devil? I don't know that book. Who's that behind her? The devil. Ooh. I cannot write my name. I will guide thy hand. That's so weird. You hear what he said though? He was like, what do thou desire? Utter mm. fancy dress. So I think that literally makes you feel like that's what people have asked for before. Mm. Like what they wanted is literally butter to sell their soul. Butterly, butterly, that's how good it is. 
actually joining the Covenant. I really didn't expect this ending. I thought it was going to be like, it's not real. I'm going in. They're lifting. Oh, they're on their brooms. Look. Tell me, guess the laughing bit. <laughs> the smiling. Yeah. I told you that's how these old films all went. I didn't think, yeah, I didn't think she would be like the, the witch at the end of the film. I thought they were going to die or something. The end. There you go. Written directed by Robert Egg. The film was inspired by many folk tales, fairy tales, and written accounts of historical witchcraft in journal diaries and court records. Much of the dialogue comes directly from these period sources. Does Satan waggle thy tongue in your mouth? <laughs> That was uh, Robert Eggers, The Witch. You've obviously have seen it before. So what do you think? What do you what say about it? Say, say about it. Speak of thy, thy film. <laughs> Tell that thy truth from thy jaw before they separate thy voice box. You can just get lost in that film and just sit, sit there and watch it because it's just visually... It, it's just beautiful to watch. The shots, the, the language is so intriguing as well because it's just... You, know, you don't have many films like that with that old English where... It's portrayed in a horror film as well. You can have like a period piece and it's a little bit like, I find those films quite boring to be honest, unless if it's got like, it's an actual historic event that's of like real value or importance. But when a horror film, it's took a mix and match of fairy tale folks and it's got a lot of like, old knowledge I know about as well to do with witches and stuff. It's sort of my perfect kind of film to be honest. I went to watch this film since it came out because I feel like as a history fan, it's just the novelty of it, how it's like spoken, like it's the time, just everything about it, the, the, the look, the setting, the the era, just that feeling of it, because that's a time of such danger already in history and risks and tyrannical, not tyrannical, puritanical religion and everyone's God fearing and yeah. it's just so much fear. And then you combine that with like witches and a horror film. I think it's the perfect recipe for, it's the perfect setting. The best part about it, I think, for me, was the was the acting. Actually, it was very, very believable. Ralph Ineson, great. Like a you're the devil in my daughter. Dicky was really good, and Anna, they all were really good. It was all perfectly cast, and it kept me guessing as well. Like I didn't know what was going to happen at the end. I didn't think the witch was real. Was it not real? But at the end, it clearly was real. But then you can combine yeah, it. Yeah, I think with... it does clarify it. Mm. it is. Then you can combine it with the whole realistic thing of what we're saying of just mass hysteria, and that you just believe at anything. And now he's like, it's all right, we'll go, we'll go put you on trial and Jesus be with you. <laughs> Sounds, it's had the standard, because I think I say standard, like this is the, I think this is like one of the first new horror movies that deal more with atmosphere than jump scares. Where they, because at the time of this one, it was all like the Insidious and Conjuring films were the popular ones. And now we had this, yeah. now it's moving more into Hereditary Midsummer. So it had that kind of background music of just like drawn out noises and just creepy voices singing yeah. like it was it was almost like a combination of the visuals of hereditary mixed with the sound of midsummer there's no jump scares i like it it's just visual scary scenes yeah. like the part where it just cut to her getting pecked by the crow yeah the i blood. remember when i first watched that that was it that's what these films do very well in 84s and these visual films it hits you with a visual image that you're really not expecting it does it in hereditary midsummer so many of these they do it at the right time because so you can get horror films which just do that and overuse it and it will just have like a scene which is very horrible and grotesque it doesn't work but when it works with like a classic film like that and everything's been done very proper with the lighting directing camera work it really makes it more scary i think mm. it does because like it's it will stay with you that that image will stay with you it's like yeah. a painting of a painting of horror it was a very believable story in that you can believe that if you combine the the bewitchment of the witch you've been witched with the whole um just the beliefs at the time marry the two together you can see why a, a parent can turn on their own kid and why siblings can even though the siblings were the ones that are possessed first the two yeah, they were the ones mm. which made the deal with philip and the, the acting from the boy as well caleb it's all, all amazing. brilliant that, that one was the best scene, scene yeah. yeah when he's quoting the um, scripture mm. it's just so do you think he was do you think he actually died and went to no, because then the witch must have like put like a curse on him. I put a curse on I me. Think she, 
I think she cursed him and yeah, mm. killed, yeah. So and he I went to he hell. Died. So he, yeah. he tricked, he was, as he was dying, he was pretty tricked into thinking he was going to heaven. Because he's like, sees it and then he slowly dies. And I wonder, as he's slowly dying, is he kind of like, oh God, where am I? <laughs> it's such joy when he rises and he rises back and he slowly realises. It almost is like he realises he's not going to heaven. Yeah, you can't, you can't take it away from it. Like, everything about that film is just beautiful, to be honest. 90 minutes as well. Nice, succinct. It's so short. Like I said, I think we mentioned it early on. You don't normally get horror film, we even talked about horror specifically, that are that short and have such a good story and fit that into it. You just don't. So who's your MVP? I would just go for the easy one and say Robert Eggers, but I think Ralph Innocent is going to be mine because I just think he was the best actor in that. See, Ralph Innocent was going to be my first one, but seeing as you went for him, I'll go for Robert Eggers, the easy option, yeah. as you said. Yeah. Uh, well, he wrote and directed it, which is easy, but the reason why I'm going for it is because this is like a... It's kind of like a gamble film because, like, like Ralph Innocent's not a big household name. I don't think Anna Taylor Joy was at that point either. None no, of them are big it, yeah. names. Uh, Robert Eggers isn't the big name by making this. Who's going to go watch this film spoken in old English in the cinema? It just seems like a big risk, and yet it paid off massively. And it's like launched this whole new horror phase, which is great. So yeah, it's almost like a turning point in in, in cinema of horror. I think. What's your score at a hundred? Eighty. Seven. That's high. Yeah, it's high. Fair enough. I'm going to give it a 82. It would be a 79, I think, because I think it was it was good, but it wasn't amazing. I think it was good, and it was it was well, actually no, it was really good, but it wasn't amazing. Um, I don't want to downplay it a bit because it was good. I did really like it, but I'm giving it that extra three points because um, I just like the history. The novelty factor for me of this film is the historical exactly yeah part, the speaking, the language, and it's just, just being in that world of real world. And just uh, I, to be honest, I kind of want to see more of the the beginning with like that that settlement. And uh, yeah, it's kind of brought that whole era of history to life in a way. That's what you're right. I do agree with that. Like as I said, if it wasn't using old English or like that's history wise to it, and it was just a modern day one, yeah, it would definitely affect my score a lot more. But because they mixed it all together and took a risk and it paid off, I think you know, you've got to give it to them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Congratulations. Great film. Well, there you have it, everybody. An 82 from me and an 87 from Jack for The Witch. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, be sure to press that like button down below. And while you're at it, why not follow us on Twitch and Instagram? And if you really want to go the extra mile, why not support us on Patreon? It's greatly appreciated. Me and Jack will be back with another video very soon. Cheerio.